This is our Great Pumpkin Hunt. It's our second annual time doing this, and we have created a hunt throughout the garden designed to get families out here moving, getting dirty in the garden, exploring, and the big surprise at the end is they find the hidden secret pumpkin garden. It's just a great place for kids. They have a nice kids' garden that's here all year round. Um, we like getting out in nature. You know, here in the city, it's hard to find places where kids can run around. What did you find here? A pumpkin. They are imitation pumpkins. We do want everybody to know that. And it's a beautiful little area. When you come and you arrive for the Great Pumpkin Hunt, right here in Palm Circle as you enter, there's a, a big sign you'll see that says the Great Pumpkin Hunt, and it has these maps. And you'll pick up one of these, and this outlines where all six birdhouses are throughout the garden, and each birdhouse has a clue. It tells you about the bird that lives in the birdhouse. These are all birds that you can find in the garden. And then you piece your clues together on the map and it tells you where the secret pumpkin garden is. I'm with Abigail and her mom who is going through the great pumpkin garden. What's it like in here? Tell us about it. Um, it is beautiful and there's grapes and there's fruit. They love seeing just all the pumpkins hidden and all the little um, decorations like the lanterns and the bird houses they think are really special. We usually come on the free days because um, it works out well for us um, but we love how they have so many fun events that they didn't used to host so we'd like to come start attending more for sure. Now we've had this new sort of bloom of, of philosophy happening here at the garden as well. Today we're the garden about get in there and experience nature and engage with every ounce of this place and so that starts with the great pump pumpkin hunt, which you could do every single day, but we're also running kids club programs once a month. We've started a new Garden Circle membership program that has started to build community around the garden. So folks are meeting up for things like a farm dinner or uh, lunch and learn sessions or even just for yoga in the garden on a Saturday morning. We have a new piece of art that we've just debuted in the garden called Fuller, and it's created by actually a local artist and architect by the name of Doris Sung, and it's this geodesic sphere that's just beautiful. One of the things I love to do is talk with locals about what they think about South Coast Botanic Garden and you know as you know a lot of the locals know this as the old trash dump and of course things are a lot different today so we've got 87 acres that have fully grown in of garden built on top of this landfill and it's just stunning.